Hello everybody, one more time. My name is Alex Antena with Mercados Interactive Partners located in the Research Triangle area in North Carolina. Our focus is to help businesses of all sizes to increase their profile online through the use of a strategic website design, custom digital media, uh, development and web marketing. web marketing. For more information, you can contact us at 888-525-8117 or visit us on the web at mercados.com. Com, M-E-R-K-A-D-O-S dot com. Today, we are going to take a look at a very exciting tutorial one more time. We're going to try to do this one very, very quick, um, especially because I feel like um, the videos under seven minutes, they really, really uh, do better in YouTube. So we're going to try to keep this one under seven minutes. Um, so this one is about uh, the film process of cross-processing. Uh, in film, what this means is basically taking uh, intentional steps to use the wrong chemicals to process film. And so here, uh, if we go to the darkroom.com, we see uh, the technique that we're going to be taking a look at today. Of course, with digital media, we're not going to be doing it with regular film. We're going to emulate the process of cross-processing in color negative, which means taking the color negative film, the C41, and developing it in the wrong chemical, which is the chemical for slide, uh, which is the E6. And so you end up getting like, uh, for example, uh, the pastels colors, uh, kind of a cyan hue, most of it, and, and you actually get a little bit of um, uh, less contrast than normal. So, so that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. So here's my example photo. And also something different that I'm going to be doing today is that I'm going to provide a link to the color lookup with this technique. So you don't even have to learn the technique. If you just want to apply it to your photos, you can just download the LUT uh, provided by Mercados and uh, you can just apply it using uh, Photoshop or anything that applies a color lookup with cube style tables. So, uh, cool. So here's my initial, let's get rid of this. Uh, so this is my initial photo, photo of uh, the beach. And um, what we're gonna do is create a curves adjustment layer. And here uh, we're going to take a look at the different channels. So the first one is the red channel. We're going to bring this pretty much to half of it. So 127 of input. So grabbing from the lower end and then make a little bit towards. Uh, so grabbing in the mid level of the input, I'm going to grab and make the curve uh, move a little bit to the left. All right, so about there should be fine. So 163 for 126. So I'm making a dot uh, in the middle here of the input. Um, great. Then that's for the red channel. Then for the green channel, uh, we're going to pretty much just balance the photo. So I see that I have a little bit of extra space here in the highlights. So I'm just going to bring that a little bit in. But that's pretty much it. Like I'm going to leave the greens pretty much untouched. Um, and then finally, with my blues, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, create a um, almost like a logarithmic kind of curve for it, like making it very, very gray, uh, unsaturated. So I'm just going to grab from here and I'm going to go to output of 40. So. I'm taking a look here at output 40 and then doing the same on this side. Uh, so since it starts at 256, then I can go to 215 or so for about the same amount, so 40. And then I can increase a little bit here if I wanted a little bit bluer or decrease it if I wanted a little bit yellower. So this is more pure uh, blue. This one's going to be more uh, cyan because the blue is combining with yellow creating a little bit more of a cyan kind of effect but effectively that's kind of the effect so uh, there you have it so uh, if you really really wanted uh, you know to portray really like the film look then of course you would 
do a, a reverse S curve because the the actual process reduces a little bit contrast so by doing a reverse S curve in the main channel it also reduces a little bit of the contrast so so if you want to you know really really replicate replicate cross processing in your photo then of course you would do that as well and that's pretty much it as I said um, I will be providing also in the description a link to the color lookup table on the LUT um, that is going to be made available for free so if you made it this far into the tutorial today you get it for free which is pretty cool so as you can see it's a pretty simple technique uh, pretty cool too and uh, of course you can replicate with digital media which you usually do with your film processing uh, if you're into that so anyways hope you enjoyed it um, and uh, we welcome your comments as always in the youtube channel box below so thank you so much and have a great time. Bye-bye.